Technology enthusiasts whine about how iPads cannot replace computers despite Apple placing laptop processors inside the iPad Air and the iPad Pro now. However, if you dig deeper into it, iPads aren't designed to be real laptop replacements at all. But if laptop iPads aren't laptop replacements, then what are they? Let's get into it. Many Apple enthusiasts claim that because Apple markets iPads as computers that they are designed to be laptop replacements, but that iPadOS lacks the features capable of making iPads laptop replacements, or that you can simply not simply run macOS on an iPad. However, when Apple is never, however, Apple's never stated the iPad is a full computer replacement. In fact, when Steve Jobs announced the first iPad in 2010, he stated that the iPad is a cross between a smartphone and a laptop. Even though an iPad cannot replace a laptop even today, you no longer have to transfer a bulk of your laptop if you do everything you would need a laptop for if you have an iPad. For example, as Apple advertises, you can run many applications that can be found on Macs, PCs, Chromebooks, such as Microsoft Office applications, Google Workspace, the iWork suite, the remains of the iLife suite, the Adobe Creative suite, and more. You can even run Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, and Swift Playgrounds, a light version of Mexico on Mac on an iPad, but they are secure, so you should not use these three, those three apps. But even though the versions of many desktop applications on the iPad are nerfed compared to their desktop counterparts, they do still serve their purpose of assisting customers with their work with a larger display than a smartphone without needing their laptop all the time. Even if you need the features of desktop applications that iPad apps lack, you can still use your computer if you want to when you need those functions. In short, even though Apple advertises the iPad as a computer, they never say that the iPad is a full laptop replacement, so people whining about the lack of features of iPadOS are saying a bunch of BS. I'm sure at this point that some of you have commented that iPads are built for more than media consumption or light tasks because of M1 and M2 processors being located inside of iPads now, which are the same processors that many Macs use. However, even though the iPad may not be optimized to its full potential, since when is having overkill hardware bad thing when cheap iPads with necessary hardware exist? Even if the premise of the iPad still doesn't make sense to you, it does not need to because the iPad is not for everyone, and particularly tech enthusiasts of which most thought the iPad was stupid in the first place. However, for people that love using their iPads to have, to have a larger screen than their phone but the easy of use of a smartphone like me, the iPad is a perfect cross between a smartphone and a laptop. But do you think iPads are stupid in the sense of work or not? Please comment that down below. As always, thank you all for watching this video. Thank you all for 900 subscribers on this channel. I'm the iTunes fanboy and peace out.